with the biggest heartbreak in the world yesterday. I did not know that Yellowhammer was closed on Sundays. So I basically spent the entire day yesterday drinking and eating on little stuff, trying to satisfy the craving of me wanting one of their coffees. So right now, Bay is gonna take me to go get a coffee. So let's go on a coffee run. Get in lizards or get in coffee. I can't lie to y'all. Bay did wake up and say that, let's get up, let's go get some groceries and I'll take you to go get a coffee. I didn't realize he meant in that order and he wasn't aware that coffees are supposed to be purchased before you go and run your errands. So we're gonna go to Walmart first and then go get my coffee so I can drink it at home and no one see me with the cup. Can I do the- I love that jacket. <laughs> can I do the, oh no you're good. Can I do the sugar-free blondie frap? Okay, gotcha. And can I do that with no whipped cream on yeah, top? I can do that. You want the regular size or the big one? The regular. Perfect. And let me ask you this. Is there any way to substitute it for like oat milk or something? I, I just heard y'all yeah, yeah, change it something milk. the other day and it you. sounded so good. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I can do a sugar-free blonde with oat milk and you said no whipped cream, right? Yes. Gotcha. And that'll be all. Easy enough. It'll be 6.58 whenever you guys are ready. I swear I'll be sitting in drive through being so nosy. The girl in the car next to me also got a sugar-free drink with oat milk instead of regular milk. The girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. Yep. Yes. Appreciate you. Thank appreciate you, you so jacket, much. Man. Appreciate you, Bob. <laughs> right, yes, sir. Y'all take it easy. You right, we'll too. Go. I can't lie to y'all. I love my man, but I will never take him on a coffee run with me ever again. He taking the groceries in the house right now. First of all, I got this whole impressive behind skunk on my head. Every single person at the coffee shop complimented him on his little puffer jacket that he wearing. No one said anything about my nice little head skunk. And I couldn't taste my coffee the second that I got it because he wanted to blast music on the way home. So this has just been sitting in the cup holder until we got here. So I feel like it's not even gonna have the same, the same mm, mm, that I was ready to taste at the beginning. But anyways, I got a blondie frap with no whipped cream, oat milk, and it's sugar free. So let's give her a little swirl. Hold on. Because I had to drive home before I could get my first sip, I feel like it and I already kind of lost this frozenness. I thought with the oatmeal, it'd be a little bit more creamier, and that's just not the case. I'm gonna have to go back tomorrow without my man. I feel like he ruined this whole coffee trip. We'll try this again tomorrow. I know y'all get mad at me all the time for not grocery shopping in bulk, but even those little bitty groceries that I be buying be costing me and Bay a hundred dollars. It's just the two of us. I already can't eat a lot of food. So let me show y'all what we spent a hundred dollars on today. This is a hundred dollars worth of groceries and it's not even going to last a full week. Let me show y'all everything we got. We got breakfast sausages and eggs because Bay love breakfast sausages and eggs. And he got him some Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches. I got myself some grilled zucchini and Bay got himself some little bacon with whatever Salisbury steaks. He got some mashed potatoes to go with his little Salisbury steaks. And for me, the zucchini is gonna go with these chicken wings. We'll both be able to eat on that. I also got me a big old thing of some sugar-free Jello pudding. Of course, I had to get some coffee. Now, I'ma be honest. They're right here about $20 of the, the $100 that we spent. I had to give me some unsweet coffee, some sugar-free flavoring because I'm trying to stop going to the coffee shop every single day. Got some lunch meat because we already have bread. We had to get some chips to go with the lunch meat to make sandwiches. I got some oatmeal because I love that for breakfast. I got some tuna because I can use the eggs to make me some little tunas for lunches. For the night that we eat the chicken, Bay got some little Panera mac and cheese to go with it. I got one can, one can of sardines because I'm trying to get shiny eyes and shiny hair. I got some pour ins for water, but Bay was mad that we already was pushing $100, so we forgot to get water, so I'm gonna have to go back and do that tomorrow. I got some applesauce because good snack to eat. I got me some black eyed peas. I'm the only one in the house that eat them, so I just got one can so I can mush that up with these little chopped onions and eat that as a meal, but that is it. This is $100. This is supposed to last us at least the next three days. And I don't know, y'all. 100 bucks later, this is what the fridge looks like. Not much. And these are the cupboards. Not much. 
First thing me and Bay did this morning was go and put some air in sexy red tires. I told this man, wasn't nothing wrong with the tire pressure. That was just a sense of being off because it was freezing cold, but he didn't want to believe nothing I had to say, so we had to go take care of that. Then we headed over to Walmart because for some reason our charger caught fire last night, so we needed to get a new fast charger. I did not know that Walmart did accessory shopping before 10 a.m. It was the most peaceful experience in the world. I made a list of everything that I needed from the store. Nobody told me that TGI Fridays had frozen meals. They looked so good. Bay just walked around grabbing a whole bunch of random snacks because he didn't make a list for himself. He started freaking out once he realized we had spent over $100 on groceries, so I went ahead and got up out of that with him. Then we did my favorite thing in the world to do, go and got some coffee. Now, I was already mad because he made me wait until after we went shopping to go get the coffee, so when we got that line was wrapped around the building and he honestly ruined the whole experience for me. I posted it on my spam account if y'all want to go see it. After putting up that $100 worth of groceries that looks like nothing which i posted the full grocery haul on the spam account i went ahead and hung up my little ornament that my mama got me i just love this little chocolate ornament y'all that i'm not gonna lie i pretty much binge watched some once upon a time until dinner time today now my man requested this for dinner he said he just wanted him some little microwavable cup of mashed potatoes with some cheese and sour cream on it and he asked for the little frozen banquet size bear steaks i offered to make him fresh homemade hamburger patties he said no this is what he wanted i posted everything I ate today on my spam account.